Welcome to Excavator, a completely new way to search for photos based on their visual content rather than keywords or tags. We've integrated it with Flickr to show how it works. Flickr uses keywords to store photos, and we've collected five sets based on five different keywords. Let's pick the flower keyword in the pull-down menu. The results appear at the right, and we see almost 3,000 preloaded photos. And on the real Flickr site, there are over one million photos tagged flower. You can browse through these photos like this, but it takes a long time to find something specific. Excavator provides a much more narrow search based on actual photo content. Let's pick a photo we really like, say this white daisy. We drag the daisy into the Excavator search box like this. Let's look for other white daisies. We pick points whose color relationship best characterize the daisy. First, I'll pick a point at the yellow center of the daisy. Photos begin to appear on the right with this yellow color. These photos are shown in ranked order of similarity. Let's pick a second point here to tell Excavator that the center is a fairly large feature. Now, let's pick some points on the white petals around the yellow center. This point tells Excavator that there are petals on the left. The next point tells Excavator that there are petals above. A final point here tells Excavator that there are petals on the right also. Not too many points are needed to get really impressive results. When we see photos we really like, we can drag them to faves to build a collection of similar photos. Then we can double click on any of them to look at high res versions in Flickr. Let's return to Excavator to try a more advanced example. We are going to use the Golden Gate Bridge keyword and have already selected a photo. Again, we pick points in areas that are conspicuous and most relevant. Let's pick points along the ladder-like bridge tower. As we move down the tower, we pick orange, sky, orange, sky, orange, sky. We've identified this tower because only the towers have this color alternation along a vertical. Almost all the photos in the excavator search results have at least one tower at this point. Now let's pick some points along the bridge span. The top search results become more specific. Take a moment to look. Many of these images have the span featured in this orientation. Let's finish this example by searching for specific weather by first picking a few points in the clouds. We get more pictures taken on the days with clouds. Let's save a few of these to faves. Suppose we also want some photos with really sunny weather. We remove these last cloud points by clicking undo for each point. And then pick a sunny blue sky. We now have pictures with sunny weather. Let's save a few of these to faves also. These faves show how easy it is to collect photos that meet specific search criteria. Here are a few final notes. This first release of Excavator uses color fields only, so please don't try to select points at edges, corners, and other shape features. These features will be deployed in the next release. However, Excavator is sensitive to differences in shape and viewing perspective present in photos and is highly tolerant to variation in position and scale.